super cute sweater that I got at Gordon's <laughs> and comment down below if you can guess what I'm gonna do with this sweater because I see something adorable in this sweater I don't know if everybody else sees it but I think it's gonna be awesome when it all comes together now there was a previous version of this video and funny enough the topic of this video kind of happened to this video and obviously you can see the title, it's it's ADHD. That's what happened. So I'm gonna tell you the story of how my ADHD was really out of control this morning and I deleted the first video I made. So I was like, you know, doing like the YouTube learning stuff and I like found this video editor and you know, it really wasn't like, it really wasn't bad and so I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna try this out. And dude, the video editor is really cool. And I had found this other graphics editor because of YouTube and so I was like oh my gosh and so I made myself an intro and I made myself an outro and I was super excited because this is gonna be my best video yet like it was gonna look serial right and I was like oh my god and then there wasn't enough space on my phone to download the video and so there's me transferring things from my phone to my computer like yeah I got plenty of space on my computer whatever Somewhere in that, I deleted the actual video that I had made about ADHD, which it was kind of long, and so I keep just trying to tell myself, like, we're going to turn this broken heart into art and make this good, bad situation a good situation. It was a terrible video, honey. You ain't got to worry about it. Like, it's all good. I don't know what the video was like, but now you get this one, and hopefully it's a better version because... Obviously, I've had more time to think about it and work on it, and um, I, I make no guarantees for what that last one was. Anyways, as you all know, I'm going to talk about ADHD today, and I know people are probably like, that's not really necessarily that interesting. What are you going on about? And maybe it's not, but I think it's kind of cool. Obviously, it's part of my journey. But also, like, being introduced to it, like, there were a lot of things that even I didn't know or realize were associated or went along with this. And so I was like, hmm, how cool. I wonder, you know, if maybe this could help some other people. So I thought I would start off with how I got here. And how I got here is a very long and winding path of, uh, many therapy sessions, different therapists, a couple different diagnoses between anxiety or generalized anxiety disorder to be technical and then depression or I think they called it depressive episodes. I don't know, I was kind of young for that one, but I don't remember ever hearing ADHD and maybe they heard it before and I just didn't know this, but I was an adult when they finally were like, do you think maybe anyone ever said that? And I'm like, a lot of people kind of, really, do I have? And then I went home and I looked and yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of the symptoms. So I was like, oh. But it wasn't until being an adult and kind of having a say of my own and making my own decisions here that I was finally like, yeah, let's try medications and see how that goes. And that turned out to be a very interesting journey for me and not one that I particularly liked but that journey really helped me because the doctors were constantly you know watching things and watching my you know blood work and my thyroids and you know all this stuff because you're on a um something like Vyvanse it can really mess with that and then they were like whoa your, your thyroid's going crazy that's what made me go get checked and actually find out the topic of an upcoming video about Graves' disease, my autoimmune disease, which turns out that that can actually feed into ADHD, which is probably how we got here. 
because the secondary lesson of this is that I also got the chance because of the therapies and various things to do things like self-confidence building skills classes and camps and coping skills classes and camps through life. And I know and I hope that if some of you are in this position or going through this, you might look at this and be like, Maybe I can come out of this, you know, the same, but going through all of it, I was like, I don't know how this is going to help me. I, I don't get this. I don't get how I'm going to go somewhere with this. And it took a while, but eventually I learned to apply things. I learned to grow with things. I learned to work, work my own method of actually getting some of these things done and really was able to figure out, you know, utilizing some of these skills that I was given through time. I also got really lucky to be in a class in high school for all four years, but I'm still thankful for the class because it taught me a lot of organization skills, time management skills, and general life skills that I really needed. And that without knowing what they were doing, they were actually giving me things that helped me deal with my ADHD, which was super cool. And I really appreciate that. So, there's a kind of basic, very fast highlight of my journey with mental health. It hasn't been steady. I am an adult diagnosed with ADHD, and that's been kind of crazy to think about in ways. But I also feel like really kind of cool because it's not like I'm just a hyperactive kid. I'm a hyperactive adult. <laughs> it's just me. And I'm I'm cool with this. I'm totally cool with who I am. And I hope that mm, that can help someone feel cool with who they are too. Even if you don't have ADHD, this can just be like a, hey, some symptoms of mental health things are completely like lesser known or unknown. And we're constantly working through that. Even looking through all of this, I really only found that we discovered or really started to study ADHD in the 70s. I was born in the 90s. That's, uh, it's not very long. And I mean, it's only 2020. That's, yeah, I know, that seems like a lot longer now, but like, that's not very long. And so like, we're still working through stuff. It wasn't until I think 97 that they did the first actual parent survey about their kids with ADHD to learn from the parents. Whoa. <laughs> and in general, we're still kind of learning about psychology. And I'm going to go a little woo here for a second. But I think this is a big deal. We're still learning about mental health. So like, it's okay that it's not the most comfortable thing to talk about, and I'm kind of, yeah, more willing to take on that discussion because it's not super comfortable for people to just come out and say what's going on, what they're feeling, or you know, things like that. Well, it's, just, it's not where we came from, but I think that's where we should be going, and let's, let's start working with it. Let's do it. Now. I had a couple of things that I thought were kind of interesting about ADHD. Two things about general facts. One thing, males are more likely to be diagnosed than females. And I'm not bringing this up for the reasons that you think I am. It's got nothing to do with gender, bias, whatever. Eh, no, no. It's actually really interesting because little boys are really, really hyper. Really, really, really hyper. And if you actually go look at the CDC charts, there's a drop off in adult ADHD for males, but there's a major uptick for females. Like maybe we're missed in diagnosis and the other side gets overdiagnosed. Just saying, I mean, just a thought, you know, my two cents, but I want to say that because a lot of the data that I also saw out there and the graphs that I was looking at made things kind of look weird. There's just a steady curve for males, whereas, you know, females go kind of like this and then suddenly they go like this. And it's like, yeah, at a point we started to acknowledge that we got different symptoms sometimes. And sometimes 
boys get different symptoms too and you know people are just kind of on a spectrum of things and realistically they don't fit into checklists what do i know but there are a couple of like lesser known symptoms that i actually think are kind of like really cool or superpowers of adhd <laughs> and so some of those are things obviously we all know hyperactivity is one of those things who doesn't want to be hyper and have a lot of energy and be able to do a lot of things when they can actually organize their brain to get things done <laughs> and we all know that you can have a uh, a difficult time focusing I think one of the lesser known ones is the opposite where you can actually like be really really hyper focused I get this problem sometimes with my artwork and I'll end up staying up until like 3 or 4 in the morning because the colors won't blend right if I color it in the morning and I'm not sure if that's actually how that works and I'm kind of trying to like relax myself actually on smart right now and be like yo you can you can stop you're tired but there's always that part of my brain that's like but if you stop Will it ever be the same? <laughs> I guess we'll wait and see. But hyper-focus is kind of a problem because it can be really with anything. You cannot even really be that interested in what you're hyper-focused in and you'll still be hyper-focused on it. I mean, it can come down to simply repeating words that sound funny in your head. Because they sound funny. It went on for weeks one time. It sucked. Now, there are some other things I think are rather interesting. Perfectionism. I mean, obviously. Who doesn't, you know, want to be perfect, right? No, I think this is really just a problem some of us have, apparently, as I've learned through the years, and a problem that I rather have. <laughs> but apparently, that is a symptom of ADHD and something that can happen by process. And I think... I think it's important if you feel this way that you do find some coping skills for it because I know that I feel this way and I know that it drives me insane sometimes. It can break me. It can make you depressed with I also don't think people realize that you can be ADHD, still be depressed, anxious. You can still feel the entire array. You don't just have to be happy. You can be a couch potato. You can be couch locked, stuck. And that all comes because you've got perfectionism, you've got impulsive decisions lining up. Now you're also throwing in depression. And the fact that your brain can move at 65 miles per hour. Because why not? You can overthink. You've got nothing but time, darling. ADHD. <laughs> so. Go figure, just lost a train of thought because it went too fast. I do have a lot of coping skills for my ADHD, and that is a big part of the reason I am who I am, why I work the way I do. And I really do want to share those with you guys, but this video has already kind of gotten long, and I feel like I might be already forgetting things or being ADHD. And so, um,. Yeah, if you want to see my coping skills or see me share more of how I do that, really, like I said, I wasn't diagnosed until I was an adult and I was given a lot of these skills when I was young. And therefore, these aren't just like ADHD requisite skills. These are just general coping skills. And I would be more than happy to share and talk more about those things but really only if people are interested in seeing it. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see it or drop a like on this video so that I know you're interested in seeing more of this stuff. Now... Right. I remember. The reason this was so important to me to get out right around New Year's at least 
was because I think it's really, really, really important to remind people, especially while we've got all this energy and this up going into a new year, please take care of yourselves. Yes, I am going to remind you to take care of your brain. Take care of your mental health. It's what makes all of this work. And we need all of this. And as long as you're still here, you've got something to offer the world. You just got to find your way to it. So please, care for yourselves, friends. Let's all just try to be nice and remember that not all struggles can be seen on the surface. And you guys, have an awesome day, night, whenever you're watching this. Dread Pirate Space Buns, 